My name is Rapstein. Welcome back to Bionic Blast Rebirth. New run. Random at the character. Alright, please don't give me one of the two characters which I have completed the... Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Stop jacking it into the tool shed. Um, we have completed all of the stuff for both Maggie and Isaac. Judas, however, we have not taken down to the darkroom. So I'm a big fan of the character Judas. Gets the deals with the devil every single floor. Uh, well, every single floor that it's available. Thanks to the Book of Bilal. And every single floor that it's available means that we're not going to get one on uh, this floor. And we're not going to get one on the Cathedral, Sheol, Chest, or Dark Room. That's a damage up. So half of our tiers now do one more damage. Which is fine, I guess. I think it's one more damage. Might be two. I don't know. It's, on average, it's pretty good to have. So I'll take it. I mean, I'm not going to turn it down. I don't have a reroll. I'd like to have a reroll, though. So now I do already have five cents, which means the arcade next floor is a viable opportunity. Could exist for us. God damn it, spider. Stop dodging me. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's actually get this spider to dodge me. Because it's holy hell in a handbasket. That one blew up into a penny. Thank you very much. I don't like that these guys can contain the trite spiders, which uh, jump ever so far. Leaping tall buildings in a single bound. That's not a trite spider. The trite spider is the, uh, the white one. Wait, we'll see if we get one out of here before I explain its description. Nope. Okay. Oh, shit. It's the, the, the trite spider is the white one, I guess, is the easiest way to describe it. The one what is white. Uh, just so that I don't die if I get, uh, the haunt in here, I'll go back, pick up the health. Even though that's a waste of half of a red heart, I'll do it. Just to make sure that I don't die. Hopefully. No haunt! It's the Duke of Flies! Lovely. Unfortunately, since it isn't the haunt, we can still get the haunt next floor. So, there is no pleasing me, basically. I can get the haunt this floor and be annoyed about getting the haunt, or I can get the haunt next floor and be annoyed about getting the haunt next floor. Amnesia is fine. Um, since I have a spirit heart, I'm not going to spend it to go into the curse room. That just seems like a poor idea for me. Either of those could easily be bad trip. Not interested. God damn it. I hate having to make maneuvers like that. Really, really... I, like, my most recent Isaac runs have all been pretty overpowered at some point. So, I'm starting to constantly, as soon as I start a run, feel overpowered. And then I just do stupid things that you can only get away with if you're super overpowered. And yet I still do them, regardless. Damn it. Stop running away from me. I hate the movement of these guys. Seriously, it's so unpredictable and quick. There we go. Finally dead. Lovely. Okay, so I should only have like one or two more rooms to clear until I find my item... Oh, okay, just one. Until I find my item room, which is exactly what I've just found. I'm looking for it just in case I get damage up or some way to keep myself alive and healthy. That's a significant damage up. Okay, so now what we want is a lot of tears up to accompany this. Okay. Oh, baby. What? Hey, that's okay, I guess. So, Mutant Spider, we're going to be shooting four shots at the same time, which decimates enemies like that. Yeah. It's pretty absurd. HP plus lock up is always welcome. That's more damage. Okay. This is how I like my Judas runs to go. Lots of damage. Fuck all health. Lovely. Uh, I will take the second to go in here. Damn it. Really wanted to try and open that chest with the uh, bomb. But no such luck. 
Hematomesis doesn't affect me at all. Now, I could search for a, uh, a book. Ah, oh, crap. Balls of Steel, fuck yeah. Now, I could search for a book in these libraries, because one of them is a shop, one of them's a library. I could guess which. 50-50 for getting library first time. But I actually have the best book, in my opinion, so there's no reason for me to go in. You can only get books in libraries, at least until you reroll. Curse of the Blind. Oh, right. Items are going to be uh, invisible for me. This is going to be a problem. Especially if I get to a deal with the devil and I can't take everything. Okay, so 50% of the time we're doing the... Oh, that's nice. So, since we have, uh, like, far more discreet bursts... We can basically just go, cool, we need the red one to constantly be hitting. Because it's the one that's doing the real DMG points. Uh, I'm not going to trade a bomb for a key at this point. A bomb could be used for spirit rock. Tinted rock, that is, sorry. Whereas I already have two keys. Excellent. And it got me a key anyway, so... Why complain? Don't, actually, is the answer to that. Paris Vi Oh, shit. Look at that. This is good. Get me Cricket's body as well, and we'll just have tears going everywhere, every which way that I'm not firing them. So Parasite split shot, basically every single time that the shot hits something, be it a wall or an enemy, uh, it'll split in half and go in two different directions. It still does the full damage to the first target, but if you angle it correctly, you can do twice as many hits to every single target. So, it can be, basically, a huge damage up. But then sometimes it just does nothing, so. Oh, I hate this room. I don't have the speed for it. Plus, I also did, like, really bad moving and do dodging, so, yeah. I guess that could be blamed as well. Okay. Ow. Please, Gertie. No. No more of that. Damn it. Gertie, what did I just say? Safety pin, evil range, and shot speed. Oh, Krampus. Krampster. Give me that coal. Give me that coal. Yeah! Oh, baby. Almost everything we've got so far is either a damage up or something that will help us get damage up. That's what I like to see. Okay, no curse this floor. Very happy about that. Now, if we could get a lot of tears up, that would be be, uh, be amazing. Lockdown. Eh. Are you wizard? Emitomesis. Unfortunately, are you wizard does not split your tears in the way that you would assume it does. With, uh... With sh items that shoot two or more tiers. Okay. Easy. I might have to wait on... Nope. Perfect. I don't like waiting until the, uh... Until the Are You a Wizard pill just finishes its effect. It's about a minute. It's just a lot of dead time. I don't particularly enjoy it. Okay, shop is now an option. Thank you very much. Perfect. Let's check it. Uh, I'll take the spirit heart and then the rest of my money is going in here. I don't plan to get hit enough to make use of a, uh, a one of those. The piggy bank, that is. Piggy bank upon purchase immediately gives you 15 cents. Uh... Hmm. Okay, if I get the book, uh, if I get the brimstone in the next item room, sorry, not next item room, in the boss room here, after my, in the deal with the devil, after the boss room, Jesus, my brain just doesn't work today. If I get the brimstone, then I'm definitely taking Tammy's head, otherwise, I'll stick with this. That's apparently the first time we've lost a little Chad. That's, uh, weird. Thought I already had fought him. Okay. That's more damage. It's also a tears up as well, I believe. 
Uh, so that means there's no reason to take Tammy's head. I'm already doing enough damage to kind of just ignore the rest of the floor, but we have five keys. We might as well just explore. If I can get Magic Mushroom, all of the damage upgrades that I've had so far are going to be multiplied by 1.5. So that'd be lovely. No reason not to do this. Well, except for that reason. So we've just recently unlocked our final item from the challenges, which was the rules card. The rules card, as I explained at the time, does nothing. It tells you something about the game, which you probably already know. Like, one of the, uh, one of the things the rules card says is Chubb dislikes smoke. Which means, you know, put a bomb in Chubb's mouth, basically. Take a little license with the translation, but that's basically what it means. Well, everyone already knows that. Why not say something interesting? I can see forever. That's fine. Go to my secret rooms. So fast. So quick. Damn it. How quick am I, though? Do I have a speed up? Was the mark the speed up? I think one of them gives you a speed up. I don't think it's the mark, though. It might... No, the pact... No, it's got to be the mark that gives... Oh, baby. I'm glad I came here. Our tier rate is now way higher than it was. This is insane. This is officially insane. Literally every item we've picked up so far has been great. Like, just amazing for our damage. And this is going to be perfect for the dark room. I mean, because in the dark room... The only way you can really get super carried is by becoming Guppy. I don't know if Mutant Spider counts. That's Quad Shot, Mutant Spider. I don't know if that counts as a special item in this game. I'll give you all my money. Come on. Take it. Take it. I'd accept a health up only because now I can play Demon Judgment. Yeah, that's fine. I can play them both at the same time as well. That's pretty cool. Hematomesis, giving me the ability to play him more. Death card. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. You can play him twice with one heart if you are particularly quick. And also, so long as he doesn't pay out. Because if he pays out, you go out of your damage-taking state by the time he's ready to take another bit of your blood. Okay, that's fine with me. Free Gimpy, basically. I mean, it's not essential for a good run, but I got health up. Gimpy fuck tons of money, apparently, as well. Didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, YOLO. Damn it, that was dumb. I was really hoping that was going to be Cricket's head and that was going to be the biggest YOLO of all time. But, uh, it wasn't, unfortunately. It was not to be. It's another Hematomesis. I'll take Death Card because it's more likely to be useful. Magic Mushroom, here we go! Nope. Where are... Where's the... Su oh, there it is, Super Secret Room. Hell yeah! Perfect. I'm actually feeling really, really, really good about this run. I also could have gone back in and taken Missing Page or something like that, but... Mm, I might get two deals with the devil that I want to take on this floor. Never think about that. I really want something to sustain my health, though. Temperance is fine. Cricket said... That's a 1.5 times damage multiplier if I've ever seen one. Uh, this is actually cheaper to bomb in from here. Oh, nothing. Unicorn Horn! Finally, the reign of perfect items ends. Unicorn Horn is pretty much useless. Well, it's okay. Ish. Definitely not better than what we have. Unicorn Horn gives you temporary invincibility. And off the back of that invincibility, you do a lot of damage to enemies. I think it's a six-room charge in this game? It's absurd. If that's true. Which it might not be. 
Taylor pills. Nah. I don't want to skip this floor. That does nothing for me. Unfortunately, I always thought that if you got a golden key and then you got another golden key, it should just give you a normal key, right? But no, it just straight up does nothing for you. I can see forever. Okay, so was that an amnesia pill before or was that actually already our I can see forever? Because I know amnesia when you get PhD changes into I can see forever. Well, almost missed you. Give me the small rock. Ugh. So our only form of sustainable health here is really out of getting those uh, tinted rocks. Wait, I've got an I can see forever. I don't need to check the secret rooms while I do that. Guppy. How many guppy items can we get? I've uh, I've got not money, but I've got hopes on three. Three could be fun. Oh, perfect. Lock up. Now I can fix all of the wrongs that were put upon me. I use it. Lock up. By picking up a lockdown pill earlier. Okay. Book of Belial. Almost forgot to. Almost didn't need it as well. Perfect. Bloats a pretty easy fight. That's more damage based on tier. Oh, buddy, that's our second guppy item. And that's Death's Touch, Penetrative Shot plus Damage Up. Yep. Yep, that's what's happening. That is what's happening. What are we on? Fucking Necropolis 1? Are you kidding me? Alright, I'm going, I'm going for the boss rush mode with this. There is no way that this is not meant to end in the boss rush. Uh, fuck it, I'm just leaving. I don't want to run out of time. There is no way that this run was not meant to go into the boss rush. When the RNG manipulator came up with this run. You know what? That's the seed. KBF7NFKY. Just in case any of you want to play it. It's... It's fun. I can vouch for that firsthand. It's a good seed. Perfect. So in the first game, if you had piercing tears, uh, they wouldn't trigger split shot. That's parasite, right? In this game, they totally do. They still do. It doesn't matter. Do what you want. Our damage is out of control. Our utility is out of control. Uh, no, our damage is out of control. I'm just, I'm going to... I'm going to move that back and just say our damage is out of control. Utility is not there yet. So you can see the shadow around your feet for where these are going to spawn. Perfect. Yep. You can see forever. Wait, I don't need... I don't have anything to buff with BFF. I'll take starter deck. That's good. Emperor card. Hell yeah. This is going to be a pretty quick clear of everything, basically. Nope. Nothing in there for me. Guppy item is what I'm looking for. Uh, okay. So I have still a few minutes. Not a guppy item. Excellent. I still have a few minutes, so I'm actually going to backtrack. I'm going to find the secret room, thanks to I Can See Forever. And I'm also going to check out our item room. Just in case it's a stupid damage up, like Polyphemus. Which is so damn rare and I haven't seen recently. But hey, today might be our day. Just, I mean, looking at the trend of the other items we've got, they tend to be stupidly good with one another. What? Eh. Okay, so that's just going to be three spirit hearts. Also might give us a higher chance to find deal with the angel rooms, but I'm not certain about that. Faith up in the first game did nothing. Like, it was just a stat that said faith up. It didn't actually do anything faith up related. In this game, it might actually perform some task. 
I know that the trinkets that say Faith Up all perform different tasks, so maybe it's an arbitrary stat still. I'm not certain. I need to do more reading. Really ought to. Alright, this is gonna be a... This isn't gonna be a really quick mob fight, but we have, like, the damage for it. Um... Okay, I'm glad I got the deal with the devil, because I didn't have time to pop the... Oh, wait. I need to go down to the dark room. There we go. That's the dead cat. That'll make us guppy, but we'll almost die. Alright. What? Oh, I thought we would only... So that... Oh. I'm gonna go for the orbitals for protection. That uh, makes our tiers penetrative. It slows their shot speed down, and I think it's a tiers up as well. But... Since it sh uh, slows down the shot speed, it actually makes your tiers a lot worse. Because slowing down the shot speed of your tiers makes the range much lower. Okay. So we're just going to spawn absurd amounts of flyers and have them do all of this for us. Last time we were in here, we were talking about how we weren't OP enough to do it easily. Well, this time we'll make up for that. Yep. This is perfect. The double monstro uh, wave is going to be the hardest, probably. And there it is. Double monstro wave complete. <laughs> oh, man. If we had a dark bomb, we'd be going mental with all this. Look at all these red hearts everywhere. It's clearly... Like, it's clear that it was intended for you to do this uh, boss rush to make or break a run, right? Because there's so many red hearts spawning. It seems like it was trying to have you sustain through the fights. But really, we just got stupidly OP and then came in here. Having two pretty flies, you know what? I think is worth having fought that. What? Oh, there we go. So the other item in the deal with the devil was the, uh, satanic bible. Eh. Oh, guppies. So I would have been cum guppy anyway. Even without what I did. I will convert my, uh, my red heart into soul hearts though. Soul hearts are actually more protectable for me, basically. Um, yeah, emperor card. Let's do it. Let's get out of here as quick as possible. Yep. Easy. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that either. I could take it, go back to the Guppy's Paw, use the Guppy's Paw, get three Spirit Hearts. Uh, but really, I don't think it's going to be necessary. I don't think it's even going to be close to necessary. I don't even know why I'm opening these. I got the best item I could possibly get from those already. And that's Cricket's Head. 1.5 times damage multiplier. There's nothing else I need from them. The red chest, that is. Is this? Tower? I definitely still need to be cracking open from Tinted Rocks, though, because I could get my damage a little more insane by getting the one damage up from the small rock. At this point in the game, it doesn't matter. We've won. We won a long time ago. There's a Tinted Rock. This is just for fun now. I guess it also gives me Spirit Hearts to make them run more viable. Ooh, baby. Well, that was quick. Whoa! Almost went up to the Cathedral. That would have been tragic. Not going to the Cathedral with this run. I need to take this run to the dark room and defeat the lamb so that I can complete all of Judas's final challenge. I don't know what Judas gets from this, actually, though. Should probably know that. So we'll unlock something or other. I think we might do a Zazzle next run. Just to fit in with how OP we've been being. Ooh. 
So Burkano is companionship. It spawns three uh, blue flies and three... Three flies. Three blue flies and three spiders. Uh, but it doesn't really matter to us because we're spawning an infinite amount of flies anyway. If we had hive mind, this would be hilarious. But I actually don't think there is, like, any significant way? Any significant chance of getting hive mind from now on? Like, I don't think hive mind can be in shop. Sorry, uh, in shops. In item rooms. So I don't think it can be in shops. What? I don't think it can be in item rooms. I think it only comes in shops. In fact, I'm certain of that. Which means that I don't think it can spawn as a result of a chest being opened on the dark room. This guy could give us hive mind. Nah, eh, or a health up that I'm not going to take. Okay. Whoa, what's this? Reroll my whole run. Fuck off. Not a goddamn chance. These are almost, like, this set of items is almost perfect. There is no way that I am going to re-roll this run. Not even for fun. Yep. Clear this. And that's without the flies touching them. Wait for the foot to come down. Uh -huh. So that foot just stomped into a few of my flies. Didn't even take many of them. Oh, this is insane. And we're already guppy. So these are unlikely to contain anything. Oh, double joker. Two spades. Another two spades. Chaos card. We don't even need to fight the boss anymore. This is absurd. Okay, so the chaos card allows you to instantly kill an enemy. No matter what the enemy is. Uh, note that Mega Satan counts as two different forms. So, you can't kill all of Mega Satan with just one Chaos card. But you can kill half of Satan with one Mega card. One Chaos card, sorry. So, if you have a blank card, you can do it. Okay. This is going to be pretty easy. I really wish I had something mapping, so I could have done this run a lot faster. Like, there's no reason this run needed to be 27 minutes long. 24. It just was. Okay. Run at it, and done. Yep. So you aim the chaos card with your body. It will go in whatever direction you were running beforehand. So- Oh, Curved Horn is from Judas! I was wondering why I'd never seen that trinket on this save file. My name is Amin Rhapsody, the name game's been The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. By the way, the Curved Horn, just in case you don't know, is a trinket that gives you plus two damage. It's insane. It's better than most of the trinkets in the game. Anyway, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Binding, Binding of Isaac Rebirth content. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. We'll see you next time.